What is up guys, my name is Spectrum, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, high five, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be just a quick little one on barters, which ones I use to save money and sometimes even make money. So I hope you guys enjoy it, let's get into it. Alright, the first barters we're going to be going over are on Prapper and they are as follows. BP, this barter is... I ignore this one, not important. BS, this one's really good. If You can find it pretty commonly in raid, but if you wanna, you know, stockpile it, this barter's not terrible. This BT barter's also not terrible. You can do two per reset, it's just for extra 545. If you use 545 a lot, both of these barters, or all three of these 545 barters are pretty good. I don't do them, but they are nice. Now this barter, 9x39 SPP, don't do this one, it's not good. But this one, for BP, this is Task Lock behind ooh, Test Drive Part 1, I want to say, and this is an incredible barter. This bullet has 55 pen and like 60 damage, and you can get these cigarettes for, they're actually pretty expensive now. Early wipe, these were like 5k, normally they sit around 10. Next we've got this barter, this is after you do regulated materials i believe and i just do this barter to make money because the vodkas are super cheap if you can get them at 20k you can do this barter right here and then go to mechanic and sell it for 63k so you just make money on that barter uh, another one you can make money on is this barter this one is not locked behind any task it's also for an ash 12 pretty cheap good stuff i would recommend doing that one i think that's actually it for prepper yeah, I don't, I don't know, these nades maybe, <clears throat> maybe pre-flea market, these would be good. This one in particular, because there's only one lamp. So, I think that's a level 1 barter, yeah. If you need early nades, this is not a bad way to do it. And uh, this one at max level proper, this is the best way, in my humble opinion, to get a Zabralo armor. It's, it's not cheap, but it's the cheapest option out of the, you know, however many that there are. All right, next is Therapist, and the barters that I use on Therapist are basically all of these case barters. If you want a really cheap med case, this is not a bad idea. It takes up more space, but has the same amount of space inside as a med case. I don't really do these thick case barters. I, I'm just not a fan of them. This barter, it's probably better to just buy the thing this barter i do all the time i always have two dog tag cases and i just fill them with level 17 tags get an item case i really enjoy doing that because it it incentivizes me to pvp because i like pvp med case this one's good you only really need one or two of them but you know this is how i get them and then money case i mean if you're a normal person who isn't a psychopathic hoarder, you only really need one of these, but I usually have two or three laying around, and this is how I get them. Next, injector case, must have, really good barter, cheapest way to get them by far, especially if you do it early wipe. Key tool, I don't really do this one, I just do this docks case barter. I find it has more utility, it's a cat, a lion, and four horses, I, this is how I get all my docks cases. If I find one in raid, I will sell it, and then you know, barter for one, because you make money that way. Uh, I don't worry about this, unless you want to craft with these pistol cases, like craft a different case, there is a craft that's... I don't remember what it is, or maybe it's a barter, I think it's a barter, but these are kind of worth it, in my humble opinion, I just don't do it. Same with this, this fuel's not a bad barter. Uh, Kiba Inner, this might be worth it, I don't really like Interchange, ever since it got super dark, and uh, the loot is shit, I just don't go there. Here's your early wipe tasks, 206. Make sure you grab meds like day one of wipe for this. Always remember to do this one. Same with this, Tarkon Director's Office. This is another one for Tarkon Directors. This one's easier. You hit interchange once and you've got your quest key. 220 I think is another quest key. So do that if you need it. Um, this is good for K-Locks early wipe. If you find screws in raid, uh, you can get this it has the you know, two limit and i think for buying them it has like a limit of three so this might be useful and these two barters probably the most important ones on uh on therapist a salua for one raid and a two saluas for one ewr each these one i always use these to get my meds because it cuts the price of using a salua by like third or by it, it makes it like a third of the price because these are usually like 10k 
They are not 10k right now. I'm a liar. What about this one? Okay, yeah, it still cuts it in half because it's by default a Salua is 37k. So do those barters, they're worth it. Alrighty, we're moving on to Skier now. This fuel barter, probably the most useful one on Skier. Uh, it's it's pretty cheap. It it's definitely cheaper than just outright buying the fuel. So I use this one quite a bit. RFB really big. You get this at level two, I believe. Yeah, level two, two gas analyzers. Really good way to get early game RFB. The Voodoo Scope, two GPXs, way cheaper than buying it on the fleet. You can just do this off reset and have a stockpile of Voodoo's. It's real nice. This is a gunsmith part, and this is probably the easiest way to get it. Normal, you can buy this from traders, but it's only after you do the gunsmith task that requires this part. So you do need to get one. I normally find one, and but if you don't have one, you can just do this barter. I always use this barter for the SRD suppressor. It's cheaper than buying the thing outright. And I run a lot of MPXs, this wipe, or MCXs. And I just use this to get the uh, suppressor. You can only do it once per reset, but it's still worth it in my humble opinion. Uh, this this barter is also pretty good. The Ultra 5 is not the best suppressor, but it is pretty good. So if you if you like 308, use this. Or maybe like an RD704 or whatnot to use the suppressor. If you like rip rounds, I guess you can use this barter. I thought it used to be different, actually. This barter used to be two green tees, and now it's not. Or maybe, maybe it's a Jaeger barter that's two green tees? Oh yeah, it's, it's a Jaeger barter, and it's just one green tea. Okay, I know things, I'm smart. Alright, we're on Peacekeeper next. This is a new armor, it's ceramic tier 4, not great, but it's like 94k from Ragman, and this, this is like 80k, so if you use this armor, use this barter, you can only do it once, but it does save you like 15,000. Uh, UMP, really good early wipe. These are super common. This is also super common on scabs, so you can get a UMP, I think, from level 1 Peacekeeper. Yeah, this is that. This is a good early game barter. Other than that, not really. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot else. This Intel barter, I use this all the time to run on my scav case. If you have like a, a docs case and you're looting a lot of safes or filing cabinets, you stuff the diaries in there and then aw shucks, you die. You barter for an Intel and then you still get to use it. Uh, other than that, this barrel is a gunsmith part, these magazines are gunsmith parts, and I think it's the only way to get these magazines besides finding them in raid. So if you use 60s and enjoy 60s, these are probably for you, and other than that on Peacekeeper there's really nothing else. Nothing else that's really worth your time. Alright, so on Mechanic, this weapon case barter, best way to get them, cheapest way, do this one, don't do any of the other weapon case barters, uh, trust me. Ignore this, this is not important. Ammo case, this is way cheaper than getting them. If I find an ammo case in raid, I will sell it on the flea market and then do this barter because it makes you money. It's way cheaper than buying them on the flea, trust me. It's not as cheap as buying them from mechanic outright. Or maybe it's about the same price, I don't know, but the one that you buy for cash sells out really fast. I use this barter for the Wilstons to get the M1A body, just because sometimes I collect Wilstons, sometimes I don't. I haven't been this white, but if you like the M1A, this is a, a really cheap way to get it, because these these are not very expensive, and they're pretty common. Mm, if you like the Mark 17, I've done this barter a few times. It's the cheapest way to get one, I'm pretty sure. But the Mark 17 is kind of mediocre. A piece of foam just fell off my wall as I said that. That's cool. Anywho. I use this because I like the Glock. I put the, the funny, funny Glock suppressor on it with PvP ammo. And it, it's terrible, but it's fun and cool. So I do it. There you go. Uh, these are good for the gunsmith task, because you need to elite pliers for like the first gunsmith to get the 133 something, the barter for the 133. You don't need it, but it's an option, it's there if you want it. Uh, these are not, not good. Always use this to get your Wi-Fi cameras, this is way cheaper. If you're going to craft Nikkor lenses, do it this way, you'll make more money. The labs card barters are not really that good at all, honestly. This barter, gunsmith part, and if you run the Val, way cheaper than buying it. 
Uh, what else? This barter, also good. Way cheaper than buying the part. Um, I don't know about this Reaper barter. I don't actually think it's very good value. <sighs> I'm not seeing anything else, honestly. I think that's it. Pretty much all she fogging her out there, bud. Moving on to Ragman. Uh, for the Alton face shield, this one's pretty good. The plexiglass, if you have an Alton and need a new face shield, you can't just buy them on the flea. <clears throat> you can just buy them on the flea, but you can also do this. Same with the Aris. I'm not sure if you can actually buy this on the flea. You can't, so that's the only way to get a Aris face shield right there. This barter for the two bleach, the Ratnik helmet, I use this for that one Punisher task and it works really well. <laughs> if you like Swordens, this is the cheapest way to get a Swordon with the Veritas pick, so keep that in mind. Sometimes you can get these a little cheaper with this paper barter. Not right now, because they're on like, I think they're 18k from Prepper, I'm not sure. 17k, yeah, so they're not cheaper right now for that barter. But sometimes they can be. This Gazelle barter, I use this all the time for a decent tier 5 armor. This one's not bad. The GP coins are pretty cheap. They can get the armor pretty cheap for that. I would ignore this one. Everyone does this slick barter. I'm not a huge fan of the slick. I just feel like stomach protection is super important because bullets hurt in my tummy. This barter is pretty good if you're looking for... This is a really... like I think this is the highest effective durability tier 5 armor in the game. Not sure if I'm right, but I'm pretty sure that I am. This is a, a pretty beefy armor set, and it's not that expensive to run. This one, also good, early wipe, or a coulon. You can buy it for cash, but I think this is cheaper than buying it for cash, this barter, so just keep that in mind. This is an excellent barter. I use these Thor armors, I insure them, no one picks them up, they're dog shit. And then when they come back in insurance, you just buy a Rolex and trade them in for this. This is a tier 5 armor, thorax only, really light, really good stuff. Don't use this one. I wouldn't bother with that. This one's really good. You can buy these on the flea for like 15 to 20k. And then you can barter for these from uh, Regman as well. Up top here. For one chain limb, which is usually below 10k. So do that M2 barter, real good stuff. TV 110, also good. Probably one of the cheaper quote unquote meta armors that there is. So make sure you're utilizing this. It's cheaper than buying it outright. Same with the ANA M1 rig. You can drink these down to one, drink this down to one, and then it technically it's free, but not really because you could have sold those on the flea and made that money back. This barter is pretty good. It's it's kind of like a mediocre armor. It's a sewing kit, a ripstop, and a whiskey. I do this sometimes. I, I never do that one. This one's also good. The HPC or CPC Mod 1 plate carrier. One moonshine. I think they changed this. It didn't used to be like that, I don't think, unless they added a new barter. But this is good. Really good armor. This barter, a lot of people sleep on this one. One bear buddy, one loot lord. It's about the same price as a gazelle. These are like 50, 60k each. So you get this for like 120k and it's a tier 6 armor. I use this all the time. It's really good. This uh, Baggerly, Bagarly barter, also pretty good. It's really heavy though. That's the only downside to this armor, but it has a ton of slots. So it's kind of good for loot running. Banshee is another. I use this barter quite a bit. I can only do it once, but it's just a light all-purpose decent armor. I like this one a lot. Uh, I do this barter sometimes to get a pillbox. It's not really that much cheaper than just buying the pillbox, so maybe you don't do it, maybe you do, who knows. And I use this barter quite a bit for this backpack because it's... I, don't, I like it. I like this backpack. It's, it's real feng shui. I just enjoy it. And lastly for the barters, we've got Jaeger. This is always how I get my grenade case every wipe. It's the cheapest way. Same with the Haldink, the the cooler. I always do this barter to get one. It's the cheapest way. Uh, I always, always get a sick. The earlier you get them, the cheaper it's going to be. Right now it's expensive, but if you go, if you get it the first couple days of the wipe, really cheap. And it's the only way to get them, I'm pretty sure, except for one task. Red Rebel, I always do this one. The earlier you do it, once again, the cheaper it's going to be. I got mine for like less than a million because I did it so early. 
This is how I get my dog tag cases. Sometimes if you look, pay attention to the prices of VHSs and MFDs, you can actually do this barter and then sell it straight back to therapists and make money. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I wouldn't bother with that. I always do this barter instead of buying a new factory key. You use a one-use factory key and then you just give him four Iskras and an MRE and he gives you a full-use factory key. I do that one all the time. Uh, not important. This is the new thermal. I, it's a 30 hertz thermal. I, I don't think it's actually very good. It's just... It, let, I'll give you an example. I fought a dude with this thermal on streets. And the refresh rate is so bad that I jiggle peeked him and shot him in the head and I, he gave me his POV. I didn't even show up through the thermal because the refresh rate is it just couldn't keep up with me. So I, I just, I'm just not a fan of the, the low refresh rate of thermals and how they make the game look. So I don't I wouldn't do that one. This one, however, for the TAC 30, I do this one all the time. I really like that scope. It's very nice. Uh, so th I do this one to get my survival kits. If they're not cheap on the flea, I'll do it this way because it's a guaranteed like 42k. But most of the time, you get them cheaper than that. And if you like using leg meta, here's uh, how you get 100 rounds of 9x19 rip for really, really cheap. For like 7,500 rubles each. Well, 7,500 rubles for 20 of them. And that's basically, that, that's, all, that's all she wrote for barters, I'm almost certain of it. We went through all the traders. I guess there's fence, so if you have max fence, you get this thing. I don't have it yet. I'm kind of close, not really. But that's it. yeah, that's it for barters. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. I hope it saves you some money, and I hope you like and subscribe. Okay, bye bye. What is up, guys? Outro Spectrum here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you, it helped you guys save some money in some way, shape, or form. If you liked it, leave a like on the video. If you didn't like it. Fuck you, I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye. <laughs>